Ukraine's state security service has blamed illegal military groups from Moldova's breakaway region of Transnistria and Russian groups for fomenting unrest in the southern port city of Odessa. A spokeswoman for the agency on May 3rd in Kiev said that the unrest, which occurred a day earlier, was organized with foreign interference. She blamed former Ukrainian First Deputy Prime Minister Sergei Arbuzov and former Tax Administration Chief Alexander Klimenko for funding and organizing the unrest. Both men fled to Russia following the ouster of former President Viktor Yanukovych in late February. Dozens died and more than 200 people were wounded on May 2nd in Odessa following clashes between pro and anti-Russian group in downtown Odessa. Video uploaded to the internet shows clearly that pro-Russian protesters fired on pro-Ukrainian protesters during the melee. Odessa chief of police, Petro Lutsyuk, was sacked for failing to contain the violence, which officials said killed dozens of people, most of whom died in a fire at the Odessa Trade Union building. Police said they had detained more than 130 people. Confectionery billionaire and presidential candidate Petro Poroshenko, who is leading in the polls, on May 3rd visited the wounded in the hospital with Vitaly Klitschko, who bowed out of the May 25th presidential race early, but was one of the main figures in the Maidan protests, which brought down former President Yanukovych. A local journalist, Oleg Konstantinov, said he was shot three times during the protest around Greek Square, where most of the violence unraveled before the fire. I was taking photos, but wasn't able to keep a safe distance. The first bullet went right through my arm. At that moment, I thought I just got hit by a rock. I fell down. I was trying to crawl away to the wall of the shopping center to get cover from the fire. Then I got hit in the back and the leg, and my colleagues pulled me out. Police said most of those killed at the trade union house either choked on smoke or died after jumping out of the building's windows. Russian President Vladimir Putin's spokesman, Dmitry Peskov, on May 3rd said that both the Kiev authorities and their backers in the West were directly responsible for the bloodshed in Odessa. Asked how Russia would respond, Peskov said he was unable to say what actions Russia would take.